Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today John is going to be reviewing three packaged action figures from Star Wars The Last Jedi that won't officially be released until Force Friday, which will be a week from today, September 1st, 2017. But one store accidentally released them early, and now here it is. The three figures who will be the hardest to find come Force Friday, so stay tuned. Hey guys, John Wise here with Comageddon. Welcome back. Um, and this is a special review. Um, as anybody who has been watching the show knows, I am a huge fan of um, Star Wars. Um, so, and here we have, in fact, my fairly large Star Wars collection. But this review ain't about that. This review is about something a little special. Um, so I was walking through my local um, department store. I'm not going to give away where I got these because I don't want to get them into trouble. Um, but as everybody knows, uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi comes out this year. And Force Friday, I believe, is next month. I think it's, uh, it's every September, correct? September. Um, so this particular store put out their last Jedi figures already. Um, they had uh, about, I think about 11 different figures. Um, I picked up uh, three um, of the ones that only had one figure. Like there, you know, there were a couple of Chewbacca's, uh, there were a couple of General Huxes, which I almost picked him up. Uh, there was a Page, and I think the other one's April. Uh, the Chewbacca came with the little uh, creature, furry creature, cute little creature you see in the trailer. But the three I picked up is what I'm reviewing today. So check this out. And uh, these are going to stay in package, so it's not going to be a full review. Just kind of a glance of what uh, what's to come. So the first one I've got here is I got Kylo Ren. Um, this Kylo Ren. Here we go. First off, look at the packaging. I love the packaging. So um, you'll notice that he does have the scar. He's unmasked, uh, and this is advertising the Force Link feature, which um, is going to be a little wrist device that will interact with the um, uh, action figures. So that's kind of cool. Um, and again, the issue with these new, newer Star Wars figures, uh, I had this issue with the Force Awakened figures. Um, they don't tell you all the. They don't tell you any of the figures that are in the line. Um, typically, you would find them maybe on the side of the box or something like that. But no, it's just the figure. But just like the Force Awakens, you can see the artwork on this is pretty cool. And I love the red and white motif that they went with. So, but yeah, the the paint job on this looks pretty decent. Um, so, all right. And I probably should have said that there might be some minor spoilers here, but uh, we've seen we've seen the trailer, so we know what uh, Ray Jedi training figure should look like, which is this one right here. Uh, now you can see she'll she'll come with she comes with her pistol. She still has her staff, but now she has her lightsaber that we saw her with in the trailer. And again, the artwork looks amazing on this. She just looks like she's ready to kick some major ass. So, and it does say Ray Jedi Training at the bottom. Um, and again, it has advertised on the back the little um, Force Link device with a picture of the Ray figure. So, uh, 
pretty cool. Now I've saved my favorite one for last. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Now I'll tell you right now, the one I have in my hand and Ray, I want to buy two. I want to buy another one because, like I said, these I plan on keeping in the package, so I want a couple to display out of and do a proper review later on. But check this out. Boom! We have Luke Skywalker Jedi Master action figure. Uh, again, the artwork is amazing. The figure looks just amazing i love the way the figure looks um now i'm not seeing a lightsaber or anything in this package usually they would display the weapons right there um uh, also they display it on the back of both the ray and the uh, kylo ren so we don't get a lightsaber but i'll tell you check this out look at his hand it is the robot hand So that's pretty darn cool. Um, and you'll see, and you'll notice on these figures um, um, that it looks like we are getting the five point articulated figures. I'm assuming they're going to save the more articulated figures for the Black Series versions. Um, I'm a fan of the five, um, five joint figures. Uh, they harken back to the vintage figures, which are over there. Uh, which again, I love. So, but I'm, I'm I love this um, this Luke figure. Uh, again, I love the artwork. Um, he's got that puzzled look on your face, taken straight out of um, Force Awakens. There, so very cool figures. Um, gets me really hyped for the movie. Um, the the person who rang these up was having difficulties ringing these up. I can't imagine why, um, because they weren't supposed to be selling them yet. So, uh, the other figures I saw, <coughs> we had, uh, of course, we had uh, Ray Jedi training, uh, Jedi Master Luke, or Kylo Ren on mask with the scar. Um, there was Chewbacca with the little uh, alien, cute alien creature. We had General Hux with um, a non red armed C3PO figure, uh, golden arm. Didn't see, there was an R2 figure. Um, General Hux, I think I mentioned him. I. Uh, Page April, there was a, um, a Poe Dameron figure, but it looks like it was the same figure that came with the X Wing. Um, actually, I could show you right here. It was, um, yeah, it, it was this figure here. Uh, this is the one that I got with my X Wing. So it was the same figure, black helmet, had a pistol, just uh, taken out and repackaged. Under the um, Last Jedi uh, figures. And you'll notice that these figures do not have the Last Jedi logo on the package. Which is curious. So. Um, I'm trying to think who else they had. Um, then the Stormtrooper. Uh, which was the same exact Stormtrooper figures that we got for the Last Jedi, uh, those, the uh, Force Awakened figures. Uh, again, just repackaged. Um, the Chewbacca looked to be about the same Chewbacca figure that we got, um, including the removal belt, his bowcaster. But he came, again, he came with the little, um, the little guy. Um, I'll tell you the figure, they also had a, um, a Finn figure. However, um, he looked like he might have been a different sculpt. <laughs> he was still wearing the coat. Uh, he came with the blaster, but it, it looked like um, he he might have actually had a different sculpt. So um, I wanted to buy all of them. Um, I kind of glad I didn't, cause that poor woman had to ring these up individually, um, and that would have been about eleven figure, ten or ten or eleven figures she would have had it done. I would have been sitting there all day. Um, I was afraid she was going to call her manager over and imagine was like, well, you can't sell these. They're on the shelf. Um, so this is really cool. I'm really curious about the force link. They also, oh, they also had Kylo Ren's, um, shuttle, space shuttle craft that I guess he's going to have in this, in the movie. It looked really cool, really sleek. It came with a, a helmet of Kylo Ren. Um, however, it was going for 50 bucks and it did, it did have the nerf shooting feature like the previous vehicles. 
Uh, but it looked really cool. Uh, 50 bucks seems to be about pretty steep, though. Um, so there we go. We have the new Star Wars, uh, the Last Jedi action figures. Um, you can check your local stores. Uh, they're not supposed to be selling them. You'll notice that places like Target and Walmart uh, have empty spots in their uh, Star Wars aisle. That's for the Last Jedi figures, which this particular department store wasn't supposed to be selling yet. So, but did. Um, so, all right, there we go. Hope you enjoyed the interview. Hope you enjoyed the sneak peek. Um, as the figures actually come out and I'm able to get more, uh, I will take them out of the package and I will review each one individually. Uh, so... Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon from Comic Again, where all geek culture collides.